it took a couple of days, but I finally got Tesla's update 2019 36.21. This is the one that I was kind of waiting for. There's a couple of really cool features in here that I want to talk about and uh, show you because it's really amazing. I think this car just became even more remarkable than it was before. So let's have a look. So as we look through the release notes, we see there's a new stopping mode. And uh, this is a new stopping mode that I'll, I'll talk about in just a minute. There's also a scheduled departures now that allows you some flexibility in how you set up your car. And there's a power increase that allows you to get another 5% or so out of the car. Um, and then there's some uh, automatic navigation. Um, so when you get in the car, it automatically routes you to home or work. Uh, wherever. So if we go into the car mode here and we go to driving, we'll find two of the features right in here. The first is the acceleration. And we have either chill or standard. Chill will drive just like it drove before, where it's not nominally accelerated. It's enough to get you on the highway. It's a zero to 60 time that's pretty good. It gives you a lot of power. But standard is where it goes crazy, and you actually push it, and it goes. I mean, you just, the car starts to go. It's crazy, but cool. Of course, you still have your steering mode. Um, you can go for comfort, and that's sort of a, it gives you a nice uh, feel in the, in the car as far as how wide the uh, turn radius is and so forth. You have the standard mode, which I prefer, and it just sort of feels like any standard car, any non-luxury type car that you might drive. And then you have sport that makes it feel more like a sports car. It's a little tighter steering. And it's all controlled through the computer rather than through anything in the, in the uh, physical in the car. Um, and then you have your regenerative braking still as standard and low. Um, I like to have it on standard because I get the most out of the battery that way. And then you have your three modes for uh, stopping mode. You have creep, roll, and hold. So if we go to creep, we see that that's uh, where we slowly move once the pedals are released. And then we have the roll mode, which is uh, the one where the pedals are, um, roll when the pedals are released. And then hold mode is the one that actually uh, maximizes your battery and actually does true one pedal driving. And we're gonna take a look at that in just a minute. And then under navigation is where we'll find this uh, automatic navigation where it'll figure out where, where I wanna go and tell me and suggest where I'm gonna go based on my driving habits. So I'm gonna turn that off because that one, to me, it just still feels a little creepy. I'm not quite there yet with that. And the last one should appear here in charging, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, so we can do scheduled departure here, uh, right here, where we can do the scheduled departure. And uh, we can say start charging at so-and-so time, depart at so-and-so time. And you can do it for different times so that it'll figure out what to do for your car to make. So among other things, you can precondition the cabin so that it's ready to go. It's hot or cold as you may like it so that you're ready to go. So pretty cool, uh, kind of a nice feature. But it's the other ones that really intrigue me. It's the driving ones that really get me and I think they're really cool. Stopping mode is one of the coolest features uh, that I think they added to the car. It's the one thing that I really wanted to see in the car that they didn't have. Um, you may have seen in my previous videos, I was doing one pedal driving and one pedal driving allowed me to uh, touch the accelerator and let off the accelerator to brake, but I still had to use the brake to actually come to a complete stop and put it in hold mode. Just had to tap it, but it would go into hold mode. This new feature allows you to change it and actually not have to touch the brake at all. This is something the other electric car companies already had in most of their cars, like the Nissan Leaf and the uh, Chevy Bolt both had it and some of the other cars have it as well, but the Tesla never had it until this release. And so you can still use the mode where you're working like a traditional engine and your car kind of creeps forward and it does what it, you would normally think of in a car, or it can use the hold mode that we had in the car up until now, where you basically use the accelerator as one pedal driving and can touch the brake if you want to come to, uh, into hold mode. But now you can actually set it up to always have one pedal driving and only use the brake when you need it. This is an absolutely cool feature and it's the one thing that I was really hoping they would put in the car and I'm glad they did because now I can play with this and I basically will never have to touch the brakes except in an emergency. I also learned something else about the car that I want to show you and that's about how you go between reverse and uh, drive and uh, how you don't even have to hit the brake to do that and I'll show you that in just a minute. Other mode, we'll go to uh, the roll mode. This is the one we had before basically where it should uh, take us to that method of um, slowing down to a stop. So we'll come around this way, make sure there's no cars coming. And we'll just go down this way like this. And this should roll us to a stop here uh, when we get to the end. And it does stop quickly, but I think the other mode stops a little more. Yeah, it definitely stops a little more quickly on the other mode. So here I have to actually hit the brakes to go into hold mode. So that's the, what we had working before. 
Now we have this other mode where we can do it a little differently, where we can actually change it and uh, do it in a smarter way. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it back out of this mode. A moment here. Go back and park. And uh, switch the mode again. Uh, driving. And switch it to hold mode. I really like this feature. This is something that I was hoping they would have, and I'm really glad that they do. Um, and now I can just drive the car. And I can do one pedal driving. So we're just going to drive uh, home basically from here. So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to stop for a second. Take my foot off the accelerator. The car stops and goes into hold. So I can actually see that I stopped at the stop sign. Make sure nobody's coming. Come around this way. And come to this stop sign. So this whole thing about um, knowing that you came to a stop, right? This, um, this just changed the paradigm a little bit because not only do I go to zero miles an hour, I actually go to hold mode if I sit there for uh, a tick or two. Just in my head, if I kind of stop for a second or two, I actually feel like I actually stopped. And so it feels like I've actually um, come to a stop and I know that I've stopped rolling because I went into hold mode. So I know that I, um, I, I'm not uh, doing any sort of, uh, what do they call it, the Philly slide through the intersection. I know I'm not doing that. So I'm up at this intersection. I'm going to go ahead and take my foot off the accelerator here. I'm a little bit back from the line, so I'll give it a little more. There we go. That should do it. And there we go. That uh, that gets me up there and uh, going. All right. So we'll just go along like this for a little bit, and uh, we can see where we are. I'm going to come up to another stop sign here, and I'll make I'll just do the same thing. I'm going 25 miles an hour or so. Oh, and by the way, I can set the cruise control to be at uh, about 23 miles an hour here. I saw the speed limit was 25. I'm going 23. No problem. I'm using the cruise control. I, all I have to do is just tap the brake slightly and I'm out of the cruise control mode. Um, and then I'll just come to the stop sign here and uh, we'll, you know, we'll just make a turn. And that's it. Pretty simple. I, I can take my foot off the accelerator again. It stops pretty quickly so I have a long distance between myself and the uh, white line there. But I'll go ahead and go to the white line and 1001 and I'm ready to go again. Look at that. That quick. Now, as far as scheduled departure, this is a new feature that they've added that allows you to have the car ready to go when you are ready to leave. And it basically allows you to configure the car to say, hey, I want the air on or the heat on at this time, and I want you to finish charging at this time, and so on and so on. So you can actually have the car completely ready to go, all set up for you when you get in the car. It's a really nice feature. It's sort of a luxury feature to a large degree because I can automatically turn on the car remotely anyway. But it is kind of cool that they're offering this now, and it does change the way you think about charging because I could plug in my car, leave it overnight, and tell it not to start charging until a certain time. They already had that feature before, but now they've added some functionality into it to make it a little more complete so that it finishes charging and it turns on some of the, the things you want to have on. The power increase is something that I think is just phenomenal. We were talking before about how the uh, looked like the battery wasn't being used as efficiently as it could be, maybe. Um, but this new power increase allows you for 5% more in your acceleration. And uh, it's really something. I played with it for a minute, and I want to show you that. We're in chill mode right now, and I'm going to give it a little goose. There we go. This is the maximum I can... You can feel the acceleration, but it doesn't feel like it's really going. I mean, it feels like it's going, but it's not crazy going. All right, so I'm going to let off on the accelerator here a second, and I'm going to switch to standard mode. Now I'm going to give it some gas, some acceleration. Whoa, my God, that just picks up like quickly. That's crazy. Automatic navigation is the last feature that they added. And this one is kind of a, I don't know, maybe it's a, on the borderline of creepy because it knows your driving habits and it knows where you're most likely to go to. And it says, hey, you're going to go to work. Here's the route you might want to might take given traffic and other factors that are out there. It's going to go and reroute you and do some things. And same thing when you're heading home. I'm not sure I like this feature, but I totally get the feature and I think it's pretty cool. It's just one of those interesting things. I, I got in the car and I was, uh, I was just driving my son to school and it came up and said, here's how to get to work. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy. It's telling me how to get to work already and I'm not ready for work yet. So kind of funny how that works, but it, um, an interesting feature and I think it could be useful. I'm just not quite there yet with that, with that particular feature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in reverse like this. I have to touch the brakes, put it in reverse. It's on hold. Just tap the brake and go. Just tap the accelerator and we go. And as we roll out here, everything's clear. I will change to drive just like this. Didn't have to touch the brake. And we're off. It's pretty cool, right?